Close to Clermont-Ferrand, Icar, an expert in checking and dealing with contamination, has premises totaling 4,000 meters squared in area, a part of which is yet to be fitted out as part of the process of extending the laboratories. The building is separated into several distinct zones by airlocks, each of which corresponds to increasing particulate and microbiological cleanliness. The Class D zone takes up most of the workspace. Staff must go through the entry airlock and wear overalls, a hygiene cap and white laboratory clogs to enter this zone. Class C can be entered via a special airlock, where operators must wear special undergarments and all-in-one overalls. They can then enter the Class B laboratory via another airlock to conduct sterility tests. The Class A handling area corresponds to the maximum cleanliness level. Its design is totally unique. Sterility is maintained by walls blowing a laminar airflow with zero particles. The room contains four cameras for recording the proper execution of tests from all angles. The movement of ambient air is controlled by gradually bringing zones under positive pressure. This means that a flow of air is maintained from the most sterile zone under high pressure to the outside. Consumables used in various tests also follow a specific path, so as to eliminate any danger of contamination. From the storage area, they are divided up according to use in the work zones via special airlocks. Samples provided by our customers are also subject to a strictly specific process. Samples are first of all unpacked and given an orange colour code as an additional means of visual inspection. They are then registered in the IT system and given a blue colour code. They pass through temperature-controlled airlocks, atmospheric or refrigerated, in the document and contract reviewing room, Class D, where the testing protocols are checked and planned and given a green colour code. Samples then go into Zone C via an airlock, where they undergo an initial decontamination, then they are decontaminated again before going straight to Class A to be analysed. For both consumables and samples, it is not possible to proceed backwards. Finally, waste products are disposed of via a decontamination unit to eliminate any pathogenic agents.